So, Kate Middleton, this light is so bright. Kate Middleton, the allegations, oh, not orange. The allegations are here coming through in regards to everything. Ah, oh, this Kate Middleton stuff, guys, honestly just draining. This Kate Middleton stuff, it just gets, like, do you think you go down a rabbit hole and you end up finding 25 more holes? And it's just like, when does this shit end? Hey guys, just what I'm hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. And let's get into this, where I'm still not 100% at recovery, guys. I do feel quite weak. And I suggest to those who may have a viral infection, who are vomiting or going to the toilet, you are, if you're losing a lot of water, don't just drink water, drink electrolytes to really help. In my previous video, I did discuss that, you know, Kate Middleton was seen in a, in a picture and etc. This was just an update. You know, they had notified that she was seen. So I wanted to let you guys know that she was seen. And that was really it. That was what the papers are saying. It wasn't an investigative video because I wanted to take my time when I was at a better stage of recovery from being ill to genuinely look into this. Being bed bound for 48 hours, I'm not gonna suddenly do a deep dive video because I don't have the energy to do so. So my previous video was just to let you guys know that this is what the press are saying. This is not what I believe. Um, we're not naive guys, especially over the last, last couple of months after everything we've seen when it comes to Kate. If we look at the fact that first and foremost, TMZ were the one to announce that she was seen which to me is bizarre. Grant the Spanish press or the whatever press state XYZ on her, but they don't release pictures on her. The palace does. So to me, it is very bizarre that TMZ, American press, have launched this not coming from the Buckingham Palace. It's very much giving the story of, oh, when the American press said that the Queen had died when she didn't. So I just find it to be very, that to be interesting. Second and foremost, if we break down this picture, and we defuzz it. We can see from tweets that have gone viral, over 5 million views, that this looks like somebody else. Unless Kate has gained weight, which could add credence to the fact that she possibly could have had an eating disorder. I'm not saying that she does, because I don't know, nor do I have enough knowledge on it. But you know, the defuzz in the picture, it does look like somebody else. A lot of you guys are saying it looks like Pippa. I don't know if it looks like Pippa, guys. I honestly don't know if it looks like her, but it just looks very bizarre. The picture doesn't really make any sense, guys. It's a very badly applied wig. Third, you know, we've got we've got the defuzzing, we've got the US press announcing it. The third is the mole on her upper lip is not there in the picture. So who the hell is this? And this isn't even just me saying this, everybody else is saying this online and we're looking at it. So, you know, she's facing some pretty harsh allegations, which means that this plan that she probably concocted is not working. Um, not only that, but the quality. Why were we given a, def a fuzzy picture of Kate Middleton when she has been seen a plethora of times looking very clear, face-wise when it comes to her driving. We've seen that continuously. So why suddenly now are we not given any of that information? It doesn't make any sense. To me, it's just very, very bizarre. Uh, I don't understand. The British media have said there are pat pictures of Princess Wales. We are not running them out of respect for her privacy while she recovers from her operation. So as far as I know, no other UK broadcasters or newspapers have published the photos either. either. Now this statement doesn't confirm that the UK press believe the pictures are fake. I don't know why people assume that because the first sentence says there are packed pictures of the Princess of Wales. So they're not denying that it could be her. But for them not to run it out of um, respect of her privacy clearly shows that they didn't care about Meghan Markle because they could have given her privacy. That is just a, a, a straight shot at Meghan to say, we could have given you privacy, but we didn't want to. But we're giving it to Kate because we can. Because basically Kate is white and you're a person of colour and we don't care. Basically is what they said. As far as I know, no other UK broadcaster or newspaper has published the photos either. Why are they not willing to publish the photos? Is it because they think that it's not Kate? Or because they are confused and pissed and frustrated by the fact that this did not come from the Buckingham Palace and for the fact that something else is going to be coming out when it comes to Kate. God, I feel like I'm back. Sorry guys. I finally feel like I'm back when it comes to YouTube. Ugh, I've been so out of it. But, you know, that to me is interesting as to either why they didn't UK broadcasters are not publishing these pictures. Do they think that, you know, something else is happening? I just find that to be interesting. Um, not only that, but then if we look at the pictures, why are there five moving wheels and tires? It doesn't make any sense, guys. The list goes on and on. We have four on the left. That, that doesn't make any sense. So basically six overall. Since when does a car have six? It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. To me, it's very much giving AI. It's giving doctored. It's giving, let's develop this picture. There are AI videos that we can easily make just by giving it a prompt. We can give a prompt of Kate Middleton walking and, you know, they will make something up. So this could easily be done. So my question is, why? What is going on? Also, let's, let, let's break it down even further. You know, first there was initially a statement from, you know, by Kate, which was exclusively, I don't know if it was exclusively, but it first was erupted through page six. Then we have TMZ. So is Kate 
perhaps if another theory is giving information via to the US press because perhaps a divorce is looming, we don't know. But I know that Buckingham Palace, Prince William, Charles, they're all probably fuming for the fact that this information was not authorized by the Buckingham Palace at all. Because we look at, at what Rebecca English says, she says, the pictures were published by US gossip website TMZ, but not in the UK after Kensington Palace appealed for her to be able to recuperate in private. The photos were taken shortly before 9 a.m., suggesting the mother and daughter were returning from the school run. Kensington Palace sources stressed these were paparazzi pictures that were not authorized by the palace. So to me, this is very interesting, but a lot of people are not buying this. A lot of people, the majority, I would say, I don't even mean the majority of people within the royal fandom, those who are really into the royals, or Team Meghan, Team K, Team Camilla, I don't know who Team Camilla is, but I'm not even discussing that. Everybody in the general stratosphere, in the general public, have seen these pictures of Kate, which have gone viral over the last 24 to 48 hours from upon being released, and are not buying this information. So yet again, this move from Kate's camp has failed. From, it's backfired. The PR statement was passive aggressive, that backfired. Every move they're making, it is backfiring. They're not able to read the room for what is going on. We're able to get pictures of Kate doing X, Y, Z, but suddenly when it comes to seeing her, we can't see her in the hospital, we can't see her here or there, but when we get to see her, it's a very really fuzzed up picture. Does that make any sense? When we've seen it in the car multiple times, it's not fuzzed up. And suddenly the UK press are saying privacy, 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 but when it came to Kate, and when it came to Megan, you lot were fuming that she didn't show her baby. Few mean we pay you pose was the title. So what's going on here? This is my issue, the moral selective hypocrisy. This is why I don't care for anybody who really likes Kate Middleton or is upset with the fact that people are having conversations about it publicly. I don't care because where were you when it came to Megan? You didn't even care yourself. So you're a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. If you're watching this video and that's who you are, you are a scathing hypocrite. Point blank, period. So these are just some, you know, um, points I wanted to break down and I really wanted to write this list down. I normally don't write lists, I do everything off my head, but I feel like with this situation, I wanted to get into it and really break this down to see, you know, that she's not, the, the, the plan failed guys. So to me, this is bizarre. And even if she did get a BBL, this would add credence to that. Cause why are you sitting in the car? It doesn't make any sense. And then it also adds credence to maybe you are getting a divorce. Cause should you not be, be seen with your husband? Should, not, should you not be first seen with your um, with your kids? If this is really, would you not? Do you know what I mean? So I feel like either way we look at it, it's just not a good outlook. But, you know, my personal opinion, looking into this and looking at the fact that, you know, the tires, the, the moles, the fuzzy picture via TMZ, I don't believe it to be her. Now, people, whether I believe it to be Pippa, I don't think so. I don't know who else it could be. It could be a decoy, in my opinion, or it could be very easily an AI picture. It doesn't have, I don't think it would be a decoy. It could very easily be AI, where the picture of her mom is real and they've just placed her there. So, you know, that to me is very easy. And a paparazzi person just happened to be there in the middle of the road where she was the only car driving. Like, guys, we're not dumb. Do you understand? We've got to look into this properly and extensively. And I wanted to take my time to do so because I am still ill. God damn, like this viral infection from what I've, whatever I've eaten here is insanity and it took me out uh, and a few others as well. We're doing all fine, but unfortunately going to the toilet, like it's just, hopefully it stops within five days. Otherwise, I don't know why, I've might have to go to the hospital, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm on the men. I feel much better now. The fact that I'm even filming videos um, like I used to shows that I'm clearly on the men, but you know, I really decided to take my health as a priority and not, normally when I'm really ill, I still try to get videos out and I'm like, let me just stop. Like I'm at a wedding, six events every single day. Let me just chill the F out and rest outside of the wedding so that I can come back to you guys in full mode. Make of this what you will. She is facing a lot of these allegations. Is she gonna respond to this stuff? Is the team gonna respond to this? They're not gonna, what can they say now? It doesn't make any sense, does it? Subscribe to the channel, click that button. It is um, daily and consistent content. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys soon for another video. Whew. God, I feel much better today. I am quite tired. I probably look tired to you guys. Um, I know some of you guys said that in my last video. That's not related to me being ill. Maybe it is, I don't know. But flying east, whenever I fly east, guys, I cannot sleep and I have to get used to, and I just have jet lag and I barely sleep for at least five to six days until I get into it you know, the mode, my circadian rhythm is messed up. I don't like taking sleeping pills. When I'm flying west, like when I was in Brazil, easy, sleeping like a baby, everything was fine. But from Brazil to Pakistan, guys, it's six, It's um, 16 hours just to Dubai and then a further four hours to Pakistan. It's very far. So I've done a lot of traveling, so many time zones, all the way to D Dubai in east and then more east again. So 
I think it's also why I'm just exhausted and why I can't sleep properly. Um, so that's probably why I look quite lethargic and tired, but that's what happens when you travel. I'm grateful to be able to travel. It is a blessing and I'm grateful to be able to still be here and make videos. It is an absolute blessing. I am genuinely so grateful. Subscribe, click that button. It is daily and consistent content and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.